Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Oh. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Hey guys, it's me, Molly, and I've just got to be real with you guys right now. It's been a really rough week. You're probably wondering why, but it really, really has. Because my mom has decided that our whole entire family is going to eat healthy. Ugh! And by healthy, I mean no cookies, no cupcakes, no cake, no Twizzlers, no candy of any kind, and not even like juice, just like water and milk. Ugh, this has been the worst week of my entire life. I just want to eat a cookie. I want to eat a cookie so bad. Like, please, let me eat a cookie. So, guys, today, after a really long week, I'm finally going to try to ask my mom really nicely if I can make some cookies because I am dying here and I need to have something delicious to have. I mean, it's not bad to have a treat once in a while. Here, let me look in the fridge and see if we have the ingredients for um for me to make some cookies or whatever. Okay, it looks like we have all the ingredients. Yes. Now I just need to ask my mom if I'm allowed. Hey, Molly, what are you doing? What are you doing, Daisy? What does it look like I'm doing, Molly? Reading a book, of course. How can you concentrate on anything this week? Why? Why wouldn't I be able to, Molly? Because all I can think about is something delicious in my tummy. I like eating healthy. I like eating healthy. Molly, don't tease me. I'm going to tell Mom on you. Okay, fine. I, I admit, I'm a little bit grumpy because all I want is some sugar. Molly, I think you might um, really need to eat a cookie and calm down. I would if there was some cookies around here, but there's no cookies. No, no cookies. Molly, back up from the camera. You're going to freak out the Toy Hero fans. Well, they don't know how it feels. They don't know how it feels. Not a single cookie for an entire week. Oh, you're so dramatic, Molly. It's not going to kill you. Maybe it won't kill you, but definitely me. I Oh, baby Kira, you doing some chores? Such a good little girl. Do you want to do mine? No. Okay, well, where's mom? She's probably in her room. Mom? Hey, Molly, what's going on? I'm just writing out some bills. Bills, schmills. <laughs> You deserve such a better day than that, Mom. Aw, thanks, Molly. That's such a nice thing to say. Hey, wait a minute. What do you want? What, I can't just say something nice to my mom? Uh-huh, sure, but it usually means you want something. Um, no, Mom. I just think you're beautiful and wonderful and the most amazing mom in the whole world. Now I know you want something. Okay, yeah, I do. Mom, we've been eating healthy all week and I'm hungry. Okay, well, um, why don't you uh, go eat some of the salad that I left on the counter? Salad? Again? Today? For real, Mom? What? Salad's healthy. I've been eating salad every single day for lunch for a week. I'm starting to think you think there were rabbits. <laughs> no, maybe baby bunnies. No, Mom, we're not bunnies. We're not rabbits. We, we need real food. Molly, healthy food is real food. And it didn't kill you to eat healthy for a week. Now, here, why don't you take these bills out front for me? Okay, but then I really need to ask you something. Take them out front, and then you can ask me. Okay, Mom. My mom wants me to go put the bills in the in the um, mailbox. And maybe since I'm doing what she says and I'm being good right now, she'll let me make some cookies. Seriously, I need the cookies. I need all of the cookies. Okay, I put the bills in the, um, in the mailbox. Hey, Molly. Hey, Molly. Hey, guys. Um, Right now, I can't play because I'm going to try to make some cookies. Cookies? I love cookies. 
Sorry, I'm not in the mood to share. <laughs> Sorry, I've been, I haven't had cookies in a week. Whoa, Molly, that sounds crazy. You should eat all the cookies. Right? I know, that's what I told my mom. Well, I'm about to tell my mom anyway. Mom, did you take care of the bills and put them out in the mailbox, Molly? Yeah, Mom, now can I ask you what I wanted to ask you? Sure you can. What's going on? Mom, as you know, I've been eating healthy all week. And it's been very hard for me. Like, it's so sad. It's been so hard. Oh, Molly, I think you're being a bit dramatic. Maybe a little. But I'm just wondering. Since I've been good all week, I need a treat. Can I please make some cookies? Please, 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 please. Um, well, I don't know, Molly. Mom, please, please. I'm asking you nicely. Okay, Molly. I guess you can make some chocolate chip cookies. Hooray! My mom said, yes, I can make some cookies. Oh, my gosh. I'm so super happy. Cookies. Oh, I'm about to make all of the ingredients um, together so that I can have some cookies. First, I have to put in some sugar, and then some flour, mix those together, put in some of the eggs and butter, and now I have to form them into cookies. Do, 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 do. I love Roblox, yes I do. I love Roblox, how about you? Do, do, do. I love Roblox, yes I do. I love Roblox, how about you? If you love Roblox, slam that like button. And if you like cookies, give this video an emoji cookie in the comment section below. <laughs> oh, these cookies are going to be so good. Hurry up, bake! Big, 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 big. Oh, are they almost done? I'm checking on them. Nope, still not done. Oh, don't they know they need to get in my tummy? Come on, cookies. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't have any patience right now. You wouldn't either if you had been waiting all week to eat a cookie and your your oven was taking forever to cook them. Okay, this is really taking forever. Why is this taking so long to make some cookies? Finally, they're done! Mmm, they smell delicious! Ah, uh, I can't wait to eat them. Oh, I see you finished your cookies, Molly. Well, first I really need you to go take care of that laundry. But mom, I want to eat a cookie! After you finish your laundry, you can eat a cookie. Oh, fine! I'm gonna go finish my stinky laundry before I get to eat a cookie. This isn't fair. Oh, okay, this laundry is heavy and it's smelly. Oh, it's a little bit of a cookie! Ooh, it's delicious! Oh, so much laundry to do. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the washer first. I hope we have some laundry soap. And then I'm gonna eat a delicious cookie! It's gonna be so good! Mmm, a cookie! Mmm, these are so delicious! Papa, you did a woo-woo, that's a cookie! So good! I know, I can't believe that we're eating them all! Me eat papa! I don't know what my sisters are talking about right now. But I'm not going to share any of the cookies, I don't think. Okay, yeah. I'll let them each have a cookie. I'm not mean like that. One more cookie. One more cookie. Did she just say one more cookie? What is she talking about? Hey, what are you guys talking about? Uh-oh. Hey, where's all my cookies? Daisy! Oh, baby Kira! What? Those cookies were delicious. They were my cookies! You, besides, you're the one that said you liked being on a diet! Well, yeah, but if there's cookies around, I'm gonna eat them. I did the do ba 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 Woo! Cookie! I, 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 what? Oh, oh my gosh! <laughs> they ate all my cookies! <laughs> Molly, my goodness, what is wrong? Are you having a temper tantrum? Yes, everybody get out of my room! Molly, don't talk to me that way, please, or you're going to be grounded. Well, I'm just feeling 
feeling so sad. Okay, well, you can talk to me about it if you like. I don't know what there's to talk about. You're making us do a stinky diet. And the one minute that I got to have a snack and a delicious cookie, you made me do chores and then my sisters ate all my cookies. What? Your sisters ate all the cookies? Yeah, and I feel so sad because now I have to go back to eating healthy. Oh my goodness, Molly. I'm so sorry that happened, but I'll make you some more cookies. Really? You will? Yeah, the truth is, is that eating healthy, it's great, and you should do it most of the time. But sometimes you need a treat. Is that way, way of, your way of saying, Mom, that you need a cookie too? Um, yeah, sort of, Molly. <laughs> My mom wants to eat a cookie too. Because really, you can't go through your entire life without eating a cookie. It's just not possible. And it's not very fun either. <laughs> you can say that again. Did you buy more cookies? No, you two already ate enough cookies. I ate the Baba Mug Cookies! Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Molly. And today I'm going undercover. Shh! Because I want to see if anyone in Adopt Me will actually, well, adopt me. I mean, I don't want them to know I'm a famous YouTuber because then they'll just adopt me because, well, I'm famous. I want them to adopt me because they're good people and they'll be amazing parents. So, uh, yeah, let's change my outfit and hair so they don't really know that I'm famous. Oh, I'm adorable. I'm totally unrecognizable. Um, but let's see what else I could put on. Maybe I could wear some, like, different hair or something. I mean, not that this hair isn't super cute, but... Oh, look at this. This is so cute. <laughs> oh, man, that's adorable. I want, like, little little cute pigtails, though, or something. Um, yeah, I'm wearing way too much hair right now. Okay, there we go. Um, do we maybe look like a baby in here? I haven't played Adopt Me in a really long time. I think this is going to be super fun. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, I think this is the one I'm going to be looking for. Super cute! All right, let's put some cute little clothes on so I look like a little baby. Maybe that's as good as it gets. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have a... Oh, wait. Uh, baby. Uh, Alright, these pants are super cute. Alright, guys. I think I'm pretty unrecognizable. Should I change my face, though? Oh, so, so, so adorable. Yeah, I'm, I am super cute. I can't decide on what face. I think that one's the one I want. Now it's time to go to town and see if any of the subscribers will adopt me. Hi, I'm Molly. Um, you don't know me probably or anything, but I'm such a cute kid. Don't you want to adopt me? Uh, will you adopt me? Come on, answer. I don't have all day. Hello? Hello? Anybody? Okay, she's not answering me. She's ignoring me. <laughs> no one wants to adopt me. Okay, um, well, you don't have to answer me. Fine, just, just unhatch your egg, or hatch your egg. I mean, that's all you care about is your egg. That egg isn't even human. It's probably like a dragon or something. It'll breathe fire on you. I would have been a much better kid. Speaking of dragons, holy guacamole. There's actually a dragon in here. All right, there's a lot of people in town, and I just feel like someone's going to adopt me here. Um, you need, you need what? Poor, need help getting good pets to stop your mean sister? Um, okay, well, I, I, I'm, I'm just a kid. I can't help you, but I'm starving. Not starving, starving. Will someone adopt me? Hello, anyone? I'm just an innocent child! If you want a unicorn, wait. Sent me a trade request. I don't have anything to trade. I just want to be adopted. Please adopt me, somebody. Us, uh, hi, Spider-Man. I seen your. I've seen all your movies and stuff. Could you adopt me? No one cares about me. They're turning their back on me. Will you adopt me, someone? How about this angel? She looks like she'd adopt me. Will you adopt me? Anyone adopt me? Guys, no one really will adopt me. I'm asking everyone. Okay, just crickets. No, no one is wanting to adopt me right now. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my gosh. 
It's the crazy cat lady. She's adopted me. Wait, are you going to adopt me? Because you are. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy right now. I mean, I don't even care that, that you were um, the crazy cat lady or anything. It, I mean, just the fact that you're adopting me is amazing. Uh, can you also give me something to eat? I'm so hungry. <gasps> A pizza? Oh, I don't know why they call you the crazy cat lady. You're so nice. Uh, I don't really want to sit inside the pizza, though. <laughs> That's kind of gross. Um, I'm starving. Feed me! Oh, family of one. Yeah, basically, I am a family of one because you have you and me and a thousand cats. <laughs> she doesn't really say anything, but she did give me a pizza, so... I just want to eat it. I'm going to eat it right now. Yum, yum, yum. Ah, what's that cat doing? It's like smelling my butt or something. Hey, get away from me, cat. That's that's weird. I don't know why cats do that. Um. Oh, she gave the cat a pizza, too. Everybody gets pizza in this family. Everybody. <laughs> uh, your cat might need a bath or to go to the vet or something. Do you take good care of your animals? And will you take good care of me? Oh, yeah. Um, I'll take super good care of you. Oh, thank you. Uh, can I call you mom? Uh, I need drinks. Drinks? Now, um, I want to know, can I, can I be your daughter forever and ever? Okay, Luna Pretzel Army, Dancing Dragon. Okay, this is the stuff she's looking for. She's not a scammer, but she has been scammed. Oh, I feel ya. I seriously feel ya because I have been scammed before too. Whoa, she's got a pet bull? That's crazy. Or did she just turn her cat into a bull? I think she turned her cat. Uh oh. It's it's falling over. It needs a nap. I might need a nap too. I need a nap! Give me a nap! <laughs> um, first tell me what your name is if you're gonna be my daughter. Oh, we're riding the bull. This is crazy. A flying bull? Are you serious right now? You are total magic. You're magic. You have a flying bull. And by the way, my name is Molly, but I'm not famous or anything. Oh, um, yeah, I didn't think you were. Um, all right, well, that's cool, but what if I told you I was famous? Wait, what? You're, you're famous? Are you kidding? You must be joking, right? We don't lie in this family, Molly. That's not very nice. Oh my gosh, is this your house? It's got like pie at it. Oh, we have to buy it? Oh, well, I'm going to buy one because that sounds delicious. Mom, um, I wasn't lying. I'm telling you the truth. I'm a famous YouTuber. What? Yep, I'm going to tell you that right now. Uh, I'm a... Famous YouTuber. Now I'm going to tell you the name. Star Squad. <laughs> You're not even looking, Mom. Don't you want to pay attention to me? Mom, 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 Mom. Oh, that's super cool, honey. I have to take care of all my cats. And I'm starting YouTube soon, too. Oh, you are? Well, it's not really that easy. Like, some people, um, some people, um, oh, so full think that it's so easy, but it's not. Oh, I'm gonna call it maybe like Gamer Kids or something. And also, I'm gonna do shorts of my cats because they're so cute. Oh, yeah. Uh, your cats are super adorable. Glug, 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 glug. You're actually a really good mom. And I'm really glad that you didn't adopt me just because I'm famous. Oh, um, nah. I, I like kids and cats, and I, I wouldn't, like, adopt you just because you're famous or anything. Hey, that cat is... Oh, my gosh. That cat needs a bath or something, Mom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you right now. I think your cat is sick or something. Your cat is sick. Your cat is sick! Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. Um, yeah, that's nice that you're going to give your cat a bird, but you might want to take it to the hospital. It's really sick. Look at The cat needs the hospital. Mom? Mom? Oh my gosh! My mom abandoned me! <laughs> what did I do wrong? Is it because I'm famous and you're not? Oh, this is the worst day ever. Why is this happening to me? It's okay. It's okay. I'll just go back to town and and I'll find a new mom. Wait a minute. How do we get back to town? I, I don't even know where I am right now. I'm just running around in circles. She abandoned me out here in the middle of the woods and and 
The witch lives out here. You know, the one from the story about Hansel and Gretel. It's getting dark and I don't know how to get back to the town. And oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Mom, did you come back for me? Of course I did. I wasn't going to just leave you here all night. Mom, you scared me half to death. I, I, Mom, wait for me, please. Wait for me. Um, I, I, he wasn't sick. He just needed a shower. Oh my, it seems you might need a shower too. Mom, yeah, because I've been running up in the, down this mountain trying to find a new mom. I thought you abandoned me. Uh, I wouldn't do that. You should know me a little better. I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't mean to accuse you. It's just, can we go home now? Oh, my beautiful child, of course we can. Come on, let's go. Wow, our home is nice. I mean, except for you have a giant bowl running through it, so probably everything's gonna get broken. <laughs> okay, now it's time for you to go to sleep. Do I have to sleep next to the bowl? Because I don't want to. He might snore in his sleep or something. Good night, Molly. Sweet dreams. Good night, Mom. I'm wide awake! Mom! Wake up! It's time to wake up! Mom! Mom! Oh my gosh, don't tell me she abandoned me again! Whoa! Our house is like a spaceship. Look at all this decorations and stuff. And did my mom just move here? Mom? Why are you still riding a bull around the house, Mom? Uh, he needs lots and lots of exercise. <laughs> and also a shower. Why are you out of bed so early, Molly? Um, I'm just checking out the house and stuff. Oh my gosh. We have a pool! Wait a minute, I just realized you can't swim. Mom! I'm drowning! Help! Mom! Help! Help! I can't swim! Mom! Mom! It's so shallow. What are you talking about? You can touch the bottom, Molly. You're being very dramatic right now. Why are you like this? I don't know if you can be my daughter anymore. Seriously? But, but, but. No, for real, you're very high maintenance. You should probably go find a new mom. Oh my gosh, I just got unadopted. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess I'll keep you, but try not to be such high maintenance. Um, well, Ah, did you just put me in the shower? I don't like that shower! I'm running away forever! You can't be my mom because you didn't want to be my mom to start. You just you just want to abandon me because I'm too high maintenance. Well, I'm out of here. And, and, and stop following me! You can't leave. You can never leave until I say so. Ah, this house is like a maze. How do I get out of here? Ah, I'm back in the bathroom again! This lady is not a good mom because she said she was going to just like give me up because... I was too high maintenance. What is going on? I can't figure out how to get out of here. Huh. Wait a minute. That looks like an elevator. Going down. Seriously. Um, uh, 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 wait. I don't want to be in this elevator anymore. Uh, floor one. Ah, she's still here. Okay, there's the front door. Where do you think you're going? You can't leave. I've already adopted you. Stay away from me, crazy lady! I'm better off alone! <laughs> ah, she's everywhere I am! I know where you are. I'm your mom. I can see you. And that's very bad behavior. Ah! ah! I'm never gonna get away from this crazy lady! Okay, maybe if I just hide in this person's house, she won't be able to find me. <laughs> I'm hungry. I wonder what they have to eat in this house. Having a subscriber adopt me was a really bad idea! Oh man, I'm starving! I wonder what's for breakfast. <gasps> Ooh, mom made that breakfast pizza? That's gonna be so delicious! What? Wh where's all the breakfast pizza? Daisy, did you eat all the breakfast pizza? Yeah, and it was delicious! Ugh! Sisters are so annoying. All right, I guess I'll just eat this waffle like I have to every other day. Ugh, breakfast pizza is one of my favorites. Mmm, I guess this waffle's not too bad. Still hungry, though. What else could I eat? Ooh, a banana. <laughs> that looks good, too. 
Marley, are you gonna eat the entire house? Uh, maybe. I'm hungry. Duh. Don't be food. Why are you yelling to me from the other room? That's rude. Hmm. That was good. Okay, I'm stuffed. Uh, I can't wait to watch that hamster video on YouTube. It's gonna be adorable. Ugh, my sister's on the computer again. Okay, Daisy, it is 8.30 and that is my time to be on the computer. Says who, Molly? Says mom. Uh, she told you that last week that we have to share the computer and I said from 8.30 to 9.30 is my time. But I'm busy doing something important. All you want to do is watch a hamster video. Daisy, get off the computer right now. You're so annoying. Molly, I'm not getting off this computer. Mom! Okay, fine, you tattletale. Ugh, you're so annoying. Whatever. <laughs> Finally, I can watch that hamster video. You too. Okay, I can't. Where is it? Oh, Roblox. Homework. Ben, okay, I, I gotta turn this computer off and back on because obviously it's not working right. Where's the hamster video? <gasps> okay, that puppy is cute, but I really want the hamster video. Where's the hamster video? Okay, Molly. Um, I know it's still your turn to be on the computer, but I don't think that's very nice. Ah! Did you just spray me with a fire extinguisher? Daisy, get away from me! <laughs> You're the worst sister ever! Huh, I lost her. <laughs> Hi, everybody! Oh, hey, Brookie. Come on in. What you doing? Oh, I just came to see what you and Daisy are doing. Nothing much. Just being sisters. She's being so annoying right now. Don't you dare spray me with that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Guys, what's going on? She's annoying. No, you're annoying. Don't you dare spray me with that. Well, hold still so I can. Ah, Daisy! Okay, I'm out of here. This is way too much drama for me. Brookie! No, Brookie, wait! Brookie! Oh, look what you did, Daisy! Brookie! Molly, what is it? I'm not gonna hang around while you and Daisy fight all day. That's not my idea of a fun day. Okay, I'm sorry that you got upset by seeing us fight, but my sister is so annoying. Okay, yeah, but she's still your sister. You guys have to learn to get along. You live together. And not only that, you're going to be family for life. Really? Because I wish I didn't even have a sister. Well, at least not Daisy anyway. Molly, how could you say that? You should be careful what you wish for. There's lots of people who wish they did have a sister. Well, they can have mine. I wish. I wish that Daisy wasn't my sister anymore. Ay, 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 Molly. Ugh, I, I don't know what to say, but I'm going home. I don't want to be around this. Brookie! Oh, fine. Go home then. Who needs you? Sisters can be so annoying, especially mine. Daisy, I don't know where you are with that fire extinguisher, but don't you dare try to spray me with it. Daisy? Oh, now we're playing some sort of messed up hide and seek game? Fine, okay, I'll find you. Where are you? In the bathroom waiting waiting to spray me with this fire extinguisher? I don't think so, Daisy. Huh, my phone's ringing. It's probably Bro Brookie trying to apologize. <laughs> she knows that she can't live without me. Hello? Hello, is this Molly? Yeah, who's this? This is Dr. Smith. I have some really bad news. What kind of bad news? It's, well, your sister. Baby Kira? She's at daycare today. No, it's your sister Daisy. Daisy? But Daisy was just here. I don't know about all that, but your sister has, well, disappearing disease. Disappearing disease? What is that? <sighs> you just need to get down to the hospital right away before she fades into nothing. Fades into nothing? Wait, what? Just get down here. Stat. Okay, I'll be right there. Daisy's sick? She was just here a minute ago. Disappearing disease? What's that? I've never heard of it. Oh, I better get to the hospital right away. I'm coming, Daisy. And this better not be a prank. Hello? Hello? I'm Molly. Are you Dr. Smith? Oh, hello. What can I do for you? You called me about my sister Daisy? Oh, yes. Your sister Daisy. I'm afraid she's not going to make it. Wait, what? She was just at home five minutes ago. Yes, she has what's called disappearing disease. Come on. We'll go into her room. Uh, yes, I'm going into room one right now. Reporting in, I'm going into room one. Oh, wow. You have to report that you're going somewhere? 
Yes, of course. I tell all the nurses where I'm going so they know where I am. Daisy, your sister he is here to see you. Oh, Molly. I'm fading away. Daisy, how did this happen? Well, according to my research, and this is a new type of disease, your sister is suffering from disappearing disease because, well, you wished that she didn't exist. What? This is my fault? Yes, Molly. I'm going to fade away until there's nothing left and there's nothing anyone can do. Oh my god, that's terrible. No, 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 we have to do something. Daisy, I swear I'm going to find a cure for this. Oh my dear, there's no cure for disappearing disease. Once it started, the patient just fades away. Do you need to talk to somebody about this? No, I need my sister to be okay. Daisy, I promise I'm going to find a cure. I will. Well, you better hurry, Molly, because I'm starting to fade even farther. Daisy, no. Just hang on. Hang on, Daisy. Where could I Where could I go? Maybe maybe into the lab at the hospital. Yeah, I could mix together a potion or something. Well, so far all you've done is run in circles. That's not very helpful. Okay, well, I didn't know where I was going, okay? Oh, what part of the hospital is this? It looks like an old abandoned part of the hospital. Weird. This gives me the creeps up here. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> ah! Oh my god, it's a, it's a monster? It's a vampire? It's a, a witch? In the hospital? <laughs> I've lived in this abandoned part of the hospital for many years. <laughs> I feed off the poor, sick individuals who are in the hospital. Wow, that sounds sort of, well, really evil. <laughs> well, I guess it goes without saying that you're a bad witch. I don't even need to ask if you're a good witch or a bad witch. Well, <laughs> every witch can be a good witch for a price. Oh, really? Well, I've got a problem. Maybe you can help me with it. What is it? <laughs> well, first of all, I can stop laughing like that. It's really creeping me out. <laughs> Did you just fart? Yeah, I, I fart when I get really nervous. <laughs> oh, oh, that stinks. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry about that. Even a witch knows when something's super stinky. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm stinky. Okay, got it. Anyway, maybe you can help me with something. If it has to do with that stinky, I don't think so. No, it's... Okay, I got off on the wrong foot here. My sister, she's she's fading away. She's going to die from disappearing disease. Oh, somebody wished that she didn't exist. Yeah, it was me. I'm a horrible sister. I have to fix this. Do you have a spell or a potion or anything? I'll pay you anything you want. You could have my allowance for the rest of my life. Oh, <laughs> no, I don't need anything like that from you. I'll do this one with the kindness of my heart. Really? It's not a trick? Oh, me trick you? <laughs> of course not. Here, I'll get you the potion right away. Whoa, it's in a Starbucks cup. <laughs> Is Starbucks the magic potion? I mixed it with a Starbucks smoothie so it tastes better. Wow, maybe you aren't a bad witch after all. You should try not to feed off of people's energies from the hospital, though. That's not very nice. Well, I have to get my powers from somewhere. Good luck, Molly. I don't think I told you my name. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, oh well. Oh, I gotta get back to Daisy. How do I get out of this abandoned part of the hospital? really creepy in here. Is that a zombie? Okay, yep, definitely need to get this back to Daisy. Daisy! Daisy, I'm coming! I have a cure! Oh, Molly, I feel it's too late. No, it's not! Stop being a baby! See, this is why I'm disappearing to begin with. You're so me! Here, Daisy, take this. You need to have it. Woo, this tastes like Starbucks. Yeah, the witch I got it from mixed it with Starbucks. Witch! Molly! Haven't you learned your lesson about spells and potions? Too late. You've already drank it, and I don't see much of a choice. If you're going to die anyway, might as well try anything. Oh, I don't feel so good. Daisy, what's happening? Is it working? No. I think my disappearing disease is getting worse. Daisy, where are you? Molly, 
I've just about disappeared. There's nothing left of me. That witch tricked me! There is no cure, Molly. No cure at all. What? But, Daisy, I don't want you to disappear forever. You're my sister and I love you and I'm sorry I wished for you to go away. I'm so sorry. Please, come back to me, Daisy. You're back! You're back! Not quite, Marley. I still feel awful. Daisy, I am sorry. I'm sorry for what I'm saying to you. I said to you. I didn't mean it. Marley, I think your tears are making me battle. Keep crying. I'm sorry for that time at Easter that I snuck in and stole all your candy from your Easter basket. Marley, you were the one? I thought you said mice got into the house. Yeah, well, <laughs> call me Molly Mouse. Ugh, Molly. I'm sorry, though. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry for the time that I put a whoopee cushion on your seat at school and it sounded like you farted really loud in front of your crush. I'm sorry. Ugh, oh, you really are the worst sister sometimes. Daisy, you're starting to look, well, more like yourself. Keep confessing, Molly. I'm sorry for all the times that I ate all the pizza and all the snacks and, 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 and didn't leave you any. Oh, Molly, I think, I think I feel bad. Oh. Seriously? Yeah, Molly. Daisy, I really am sorry for wishing that you weren't my sister. Well, I think you've learned your lesson. I really have, Daisy. I really have. Now, come on. Let's go home. Okay, but only if we can stop for ice cream with your allowance. With my allowance? Are you kidding me, Daisy? I, I just went through all this trouble to cure you, and, 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 and I had to speak to a witch, and it was terrifying, and, and now you want to spend my allowance? Yeah, Molly, you're going to because you gave me disappearing disease. I swear, you're the greediest sister alive. Are you really going to fight with me right now, Molly? I really am. Oh, brother, we're always going to fight, aren't we? Yeah, pretty much, but I still love you. I love you too, Molly. I love you too. <sighs> I'm so cold and so hungry. All I have is this little candle to keep me warm. Oh, I have to find something to eat and somewhere to be warm. It's starting to snow and I can't be out here all night. Oh, wait, there's a little store. Hi, um, I'm really hungry. I'm an orphan. Could I have something to eat, please? And maybe a blanket? Oh, hi. This is just um, a job I'm working while I'm a senior in high school, so... Um, it's not really my choice to give away things for free, but my boss said I, I'm not allowed. But, but I'm an orphan and I'm starving! I'm really sorry, but I'll lose my job if I give away anything for free. But I did hear of an orphanage around the corner. You could try going there. It's for orphans like you, I guess. Um, okay, um, but seriously, can, can I have a teddy bear? I really, I really like that. No, I told you I can't give away anything for free, but maybe the orphanage will have a teddy bear and, like, some soup or something for you to eat. And I'm, I'm sure it's warm inside. Okay, well, thank you for your information, and, and good luck on your new job. Thank you. That poor girl. I can't believe it. Like, seriously, she's, she's an orphan. Ugh, this is such a long walk. And the woods are really creepy. What was that? It sounded so creepy. Okay, I'm gonna run. I'm just gonna run super fast. Oh, I can't run super fast. I'm too hungry. Gotta run. Gotta run super fast. Oh my gosh. Wait, I see something over there. Are those berries? Oh, they look delicious. Who cares if they look kind of strange? I'm just, I'm too hungry to even think about that. Strange red berries. I'm going to eat you. Get in my tummy. Hmm. Yep. I don't think they're poisonous. They're pretty good, actually. Ah, finally, something to eat. Let's see if I can find that orphanage. I see something up ahead. It looks like a giant building. That must be it. Wait a minute. Did I just run in a big circle? Oh, boy. I could have taken the shortcut right over here. Ay, ay, ay. There it is. Holy guacamole! This orphanage is beautiful! It's like a castle! Wow! You mean I might actually get to live here? Life might get better for me now. I really hope so. Hello? Is, is, is anybody home? Hey, get with the program, kid! Um, you need to go to registration if you're an orphan. Oh, where's registration? 
Ugh, figure it out. Wow, rude. Is this registration? Hello? Is anybody there? Hello? Okay, I guess no one's in that registration. Maybe it's because it's the weekend. Wow, look at this dining room. Oh, it's making my stomach growl. Oh, I want to go in here so bad. Let me in, let me in. Oh, everything's locked. I didn't get any food. I'm still really hungry. Hi. Um, I'm Molly. I'm I'm an orphan. Hey, Molly. We were orphans too, but um, basically now we live here and things are so much better. Oh, that's awesome. I can't wait to live here and, and things will be better. Whoa. It just got really dark. Okay, everybody. It seems that it's getting dark. Any orphans not in their dorms will be punished. Um, okay, but I, I didn't, I don't have a dorm. Where should I go? Hello? Anybody? All right, I'm just going to walk around until I find where I'm going. Oh, wow. She's carrying her to her room. Must be she doesn't want to go to bed or something. Oh, my God. She's putting her in jail. <gasps> There's a jail at this orphanage? Okay, I need to get out of here. I need to get out of here and quick. Hey, where are you going? Don't you want to live at the orphanage? Um, there's a jail back there. Oh, yeah, that's just if we don't follow the rules. Just just follow the rules. I'm reporting you. You're going to go to jail. Oh, my gosh. This seems crazy to me. I don't know how. Okay. Right in log. Maybe if I put. I shouldn't touch this. Okay. I don't know how to get registered right now. I mean, I guess living here, even if there is a prison, is better than living out in the cold forest. Well, well, what's going on? I was just trying to find registration. Everybody get to the bunker. There's an emergency. Bunker? There's a bunker here? Holy guacamole. What's this all about? Ah! Things are going really wrong. What? what? Wait, what? What? Okay, the front door just closed and locked. So basically, um, I think whatever was in the forest is coming to get us. I don't know. Where is this bunker? I don't know where to go. Oh, I'm going to die. Okay, maybe I won't die. I don't know. I don't know what's happening right now. Hello? Anybody help me? Ah, ah, ah. Oh, my God. Is that one of the orphans? Because she's definitely gone crazy. Holy guacamole. She's got a knife. And she's got a creepy face. Ah, ah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The bunker is locked. I don't know where the key is. This crazy psycho orphan is after me. I'm running up the stairs. It's gonna be it's gonna be safer up there. She'll never find me up here, right, guys? Where's the key though to get into the bunker? That's the question I need to know. Well, I already know the question. <laughs> That's the answer I need to know. Hey, what are you guys doing in there? Let me in. Um, okay, but there's this orphan killer and she tried to kill me. What? Who are you, by the way? I'm Molly. I'm a new orphan. I didn't even register yet. I couldn't find registration, and then the lights went out, and then this orphan was trying to kill me. What? You too? And you're not even, like, registered here yet? And she tried to kill you? I don't think she's that picky about who she's trying to kill. <laughs> I mean, psycho! Well, I think we should be safe in here. Except for, well, the door doesn't lock, really. Well, just keep it closed, everybody! I need to lay down! Oh, I'm freaking out! Okay, it's gonna be okay. Just take a deep breath and don't put your candle on the mattress or you'll burn down the entire place. Okay, do you guys see her out there? Who is that? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Do not open the door at any cost. At first I thought you might be the psycho, psycho killer. Me? No, it was definitely not me. Hey, look, that girl needs to come in here. She's going to get caught by the psycho killer. No, do not let anyone else in. We can't die. Okay, well, what if she's not the psycho killer and we left her outside? Well, I don't know. She'll just have to fend for herself, I guess. I'm opening the door. It's rude. The killer could be behind her. Don't open it for anyone. Guys, I don't think that this, that this killer is going to go away unless we get brave and we go out there. You can go out there, Molly, but we're going to hide in here. We're not dumb. I'm not dumb. It's almost morning. Maybe the killer will go away. Ah! I just saw the killer. I saw her. Seriously, I saw her. Turn out your candle. Oh, my God. I saw her creepy face. You know what she looks like, Molly? Yeah, I know. She tried to stab me with her knife. She's downstairs. She's creepy. One thing's for sure. I need to get adopted really quickly. 
I can't stay in this place. It's creepy. Oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. Molly, shh, just come over here, okay? But that doesn't change the fact that I'm so hungry. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm getting hungry too. Do you think this is gonna stop soon? Um, no. I think we should go out there though. Molly, don't! We just met you! We don't want to lose you too! We have to, okay? We have to find the key to the bunker or stop this girl or something. Sorry for killing you all. I just had a really bad night. What? Yeah, now I want to eat pancakes because uh, I was so busy in the night, like, trying to kill everyone. Oh my god! This is the creepiest orphanage ever! Daisy! Uh-oh! Gotta go! Gotta go to the bathroom! Uh-oh! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh, finally! Oh, Molly! This is the girl's bathroom! Because I'm in love with you! Oh, you're stinky! I know! That's why you're not supposed to be in here! I don't care! My love for you is true! Ah! Get out of the girl's bathroom! Oh my gosh, where can I hide? I'm so embarrassed right now. He saw me fart! Oh, that is so embarrassing. I know how to make myself feel better. I just need a slice of pizza. That makes the everything in the world so much better. Mm. That's good pizza. Hey, you like pizza? So don't I. Huh? What? Oh, I can't believe it. You're going to be my girlfriend. Wait, no I'm not. What are you talking about? Yeah, <laughs> we are. We're going to go to the dance together, and we, we love, both love pizza. Why wouldn't we go to the dance together and be boyfriend and girlfriend? Oh, my gosh. The school has gone completely crazy. Daisy! Did my spell bring all the girls back? Molly, what's going on? Daisy! Oh, my gosh, I'm so glad to see you. What do you mean you're so happy to see me? It's during the school day. Of course I'm here. Oh, Daisy, I made a huge mistake. What are you talking about, Molly? What's going on? Well, it all started when... Alakazam! Alakazun! My last spell. Be undone! Did it work? Did it work? Boom, 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 boom. Let me get this straight for a second. You, you, you did a reversal spell? So what was the spell to begin with? Um, well, you don't remember this, I guess, but I... I made it so that all the girls would disappear so Luke would ask me to the dance. And it didn't work and I needed to talk to you and so, um, here we are and, uh, when I reverse the spell, now all the boys are in love with, well, me! Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. So you did a spell to make me and all the other girls disappear so you wouldn't have any competition for Luke? Correct. And then when it didn't work, you wanted me back? Correct. So you did a reversal spell? Correct. And it backfired and now all the boys at school are in love with you? Also correct. Molly! You should stop doing spells! Obviously you're terrible at them! Um, uh, uh, exactly my point. Now what are we gonna do? I can't wait to take a selfie with my new girlfriend. New girlfriend? What's he talking about? Oh no, he means me. Oh, Molly, when you're making that angry face, you're so beautiful! What? No, I'm not! I look ugly right now! Uh, Molly, I think he loves you no matter what because you put a spell on him! Well, I didn't mean to. It was just sort of a backfire spell, but whoopsie. Um, I'm really sorry, Jack, but we can't, we can't be boyfriend-girlfriend. Wait, what? What'd you just say to me? Um, we can't be boyfriend-girlfriend? Then I... I'm going to have such a broken heart that I'm going to need to explode all the broken even. <laughs> uh, Daisy, there's only one thing to do. Run! Molly! Are these boys going to follow us home? I don't know. I hope not. Meet me at my science lab. We'll try to fix this. Good plan. Molly, go to the dance with me and I'll give you a loan. Do you work at the bank even? Of course I do. <laughs> I'm a mortgage lender. You could have a brand new house. No, I don't need a new house. But I want to take you to the dance. <sighs> oh my gosh. That was so far to run, Daisy. How'd you beat me? Because I didn't have an entire town of boys chasing me. That's how. I can't believe what a mess you've made of everything, Molly. <sighs> I know. I 
don't do my homework, I sleep in past my alarm so I miss the school bus, I set bad spells, and then when I reverse them, the whole world explodes. Pretty much, Molly. But according to my calculations, I should be able to reverse everything well without too many mistakes. See, so you don't know how to do it either. Yes, I do. I'm just trying to unravel your giant mess. Molly, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, Luke, the world's gone crazy out there. Yeah, crazy for you, Molly, because you're just so special and and I, 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 I'm tongue-tied around you. Wait, what? I thought you didn't want to take me to the dance. No, I, I'm in love with you. You, you are? Molly, that's just the spell talking. No, I think it's really Luke. Molly, you know it's not. Didn't want to take you to the dance before your backfired spell. Oh, who cares? Who cares about a spell or a wrong spell or a right spell? You've put a spell on my heart, Molly, and I'm going to love you forever. Oh, <laughs> well, um, okay. Uh, Daisy, we're not going to reverse the spell. What do you mean we're not going to reverse the spell? Molly, snap out of it. I can't. I'm too busy gazing into Luke's beautiful eyes. Molly, he doesn't really love you. It's just a spell. It'll never be true love. You'll be living a lie. I don't care, Dizzy. I'm gonna go to the school dance with Luke, and I'll do anything to do it. So you only want Luke to take you to the school dance because he's under a spell, not because he actually likes you? I don't even know you anymore, Molly. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but... <sighs> Luke, I can't go to the school dance with you. What? No! My heart! It's broken! <laughs> do this Molly this is all you're doing now the spell is going to be reversed all I have to do is say these simple words and program it into my computer of course Alakazam Alakazoom my sister's spells are done by a noob really that's the spell yes Molly that's the spell Luke Luke are you okay I feel kind of weird oh it's been a very long day do you need a glass of water? Uh, I'll get you one. Don't hate me, please. Hate you? No, I don't hate you, but why'd you cast a spell on everybody? My brain hurts. Um, well, this is embarrassing and don't hate me! I already said I'm not gonna hate you. What's going on, Molly? Oh, look, I can get a job as a scientist. This would be awesome. Daisy, no one cares about your job search. Sorry, I'm just saying I'm overqualified. Uh, Luke, so do you hate me? No, Molly. But you cast a spell on me and everyone else in town. That wasn't very nice. It's because I wanted to go to the dance with you and you kept asking everyone else. My heart was breaking. Oh, Molly, this spell made me realize something. Do you hate me? No, how many times do I have to say it? I don't hate you. I actually really like you. Like, I think I might be in love with you. Say what? I didn't see that one coming. Neither did I, Molly. Neither did I. Uh, I was wondering, um, do you want to be my girlfriend? Really? Or is this still the spell? No, according to my calculations, Molly, um, the spell was broken. Daisy, you're on a shopping website. I know, but I checked before I got on you. Look at these pants. Aren't they cute? Daisy! I already did my job, Molly. Uh, so, Molly, what do you say? Will you, will you be my girlfriend? Um, uh... Of course I will, Luke. Yes. This is like the best day ever. Wait a minute. Does being your girlfriend mean you're still taking Sarah or Brittany to the dance? No, silly. <laughs> it means I'm taking you to the dance. Yahoo! Then my answer is yes. Oh my gosh, my sister has a boyfriend. Marty, come on, get out of the bathroom. I really have to go. Um, I'll be out in like a half an hour. Molly, come on, I have to go in the bathroom. Get out of there. I'm really busy right now, um, brushing my teeth and taking a shower. Molly, get out of the bathroom. I have to go. Molly, I can see you right now. Are, are you just watching YouTube on your iPad? You're not even using the bathroom. I'm using it for privacy. I, I'm so tired of you nagging me all the time. Well, maybe I wouldn't nag you if you weren't stuck in the bathroom all the time. 
Now come on, I really have to go. Fine, you're the most annoying sister in the entire world. Oh, sorry, I have to use the bathroom, Marty. Oh, that makes me the worst sister that I'm human. Yeah, it really does. Eh, I guess I'll just play on the computer. Let's see. I want to try to find a good game to play. Or some funny videos to watch. <laughs> Look at these fat cats. They're like flying through the air. Marty, excuse me, but I have to use the computer to do some research for schoolwork. What? No, I was here first. Molly, you know the rules. Mom and Dad said if we're doing homework, we get to use the computer first. Whoever's doing the schoolwork, that is. I don't care. I'm watching this funny video. I already had to leave the bathroom so you could use it. Uh, yeah, because I had to go to the bathroom. And now I have to do my schoolwork. So seriously, get off the computer. Ugh, I'm so sick of you being my sister. Tell me about it, Molly. If I didn't have a sister, the world would be a better place. Rude! Daisy! Oh my gosh, my sister is so getting on my nerves. It's okay, I'm just gonna eat the waffles. Mm. I'm gonna eat every last waffle we have because they're delicious. Ooh, mm. With a little bit of butter on them, so good. Oh my, I'm feeling quite hungry for breakfast. I go have some waffles, that sounds pretty good. Where is all the waffles? Um, in my stomach. What? You ate every last waffle, you pig! What? I was super hungry. Molly! All I wanted was a waffle for breakfast! How could you? Oh, you're driving me crazy! Um, I'm sorry, but too late now. <laughs> They're delicious. Oh, brother. Look, Molly, I have to have a serious conversation with you. You do? About what? About you being... Ugh, yourself! Well, sorry, Daisy. I can't be anybody myself. Um, I know you can't be anybody but yourself. But maybe you could just work on yourself just a little bit and be nicer with your sister. Not a chance! And I think it's rude you should even mention it. I'm doing my best here, Daisy. And, and well, if you don't like me, maybe you should just leave. I am going to leave, Molly. This is getting ridiculous. I don't need to live with a sister like you. I don't need to live with a sister like you. Goodbye. See you later, Molly. Sayonara. Ah, this is the life. No sister and peace and quiet. Hmm, I wonder what's on TV. Oh, wow, a new episode of Brooke High, Daisy's favorite show. She would have loved this episode, I bet. Oh, well, she's not here. Oh, my stomach's growling again. <laughs> my stomach's always growling. Let's see what's in the fridge. Ooh, Reese cups. Mm. These are Daisy's favorite. And there's an extra one. Oh, that's too bad that she's not here, though. Well, I guess I better start on my math homework because mm, this Reese cup really is good. If I don't do my math homework, then I'll get detention again. And I don't need any more detentions, because seriously, I've had like a hundred this year. <laughs> oh, this math homework is super hard. Oh, how am I ever going to figure this out? I wish Daisy was here. She, she knows how to do math homework. Well, this hotel is pretty nice, but it's not like my home, you know? It just, it feels like, it doesn't feel like it's a home. It feels like I'm just staying in a hotel all by myself. It's kind of lonely. Wait a minute. I know how to solve my loneliness. I'll buy a big mansion and that'll solve everything. This is going to be the biggest mansion ever in Brookhaven. It's going to be beautiful. I'm going to be so happy here. Wow, look at this place. Holy guacamole. There's one, two, three, like four floors. Oh yeah, I'm living the life now. I can't get over this place. It's amazing. Holy guacamole. Molly would love this indoor pool. Going in the pool is sort of her thing. Uh, well, she's not here. I guess I'll have to get in the pool by myself. It'll still be fun, though. Ah, this water feels amazing. She's not here to play Marco Polo with, though. I guess I'll just play it by myself. Who needs her anyway? Marco... Fish out of water! Just kidding.
kidding? There's no one here to play any games with. Who am I kidding right now? I miss Molly! <laughs> My sister's so annoying and I still love her! What's wrong with me? <laughs> I can't be without Molly, even though she drives me insane! <laughs> well, I guess I have no choice but to go home. Ay, 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 I have to live with her forever, even though she drives me nuts! I will not admit that I miss my sister. I'll just keep eating my feelings. Yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm one Dorito bag away from feeling better. I don't miss my sister. I don't miss her at all. <laughs> I miss Daisy. <laughs> Molly? Daisy? What are, what are you doing here? Well, I... I will, uh... Whoa, are those Doritos? Those smell delicious. Yeah, you want some? No, not really. Look, Molly, I, I, I really just... I need to tell you something. I need to tell you something, too. Molly, you just spit a weirdo on me. Gross! Oh, sorry. Try not talking with your mouth full. Well, try not being so rude! Molly! Okay, let's not fight, Molly. The reason why I'm here is... Because I missed you. Oh. I mean, don't get me wrong. You're the most annoying sister on the planet. You missed me? Seriously? And wait a minute, I'm not annoying. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Okay, we agreed not to fight. Well, at least for the next five minutes while we're making up. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Those Doritos really were good. Molly, focus. Okay, Daisy, I'm, I missed you too. You did? Yeah. Don't ever leave again, okay? We're sisters for life. Even though we drive each other crazy? Even though we drive each other crazy. Oh, Molly. <sighs> I wouldn't want a more annoying sister than you. I wouldn't want a more bossy and, and know-it-all sister than you. I'm not a know-it-all. Well, I hope you are because uh, I have this math homework and I can't figure it out. Okay, Molly. I'll tutor you in math. Let's go over to the couch and take a look at the problems. Thanks, Daisy. Do you mind if I eat some potato chips while we do that? Molly! Focus! Okay, how about some Reese Cups? Molly! Fine, I'm doing my homework. I'm doing my homework. Uh, having you as a sister sure is a challenge. Tell me about it. Hey, Brookie, what's up? Hey, Molly, I was wondering what you're doing today. Do you want to, like, go to the park or come to my house or something? Oh, I'm, I would love to, Brookie, but... Daisy asked me to help her with a project, so, you know, it's probably like something for the science fair. Something boring like that. Oh, so do you really have to help her? Well, I should. She's my sister. Maybe we could hang out tomorrow? Sounds good, Molly. I'll see you then. Okay, see you bright and early. Bye. Bye, Molly. Okay, Daisy, what was so important that I had to miss an awesome, fun day with my bestie? Molly, I am doing something so nice for Grandma right now. For Grandma? What? Well, she's always baking and cooking and bringing us presents, and she's so nice, so I thought we could cook her some stuff. Oh, wow. What are you thinking? Well, I've got a turkey dinner in the oven. Boring! Grandma doesn't want that. Where's the ingredients for some delicious donuts and cookies? Molly, we can't feed Grandma that. It'll clog her arteries. So, what do you need arteries for? Oh, they only take care of things like your heart. Grandma's old. She can't be eating garbage food. Garbage food? Who calls a cookie or a donut garbage? Not in my book. For that matter, I think I need a donut right now. Mmm, yeah. That's a good donut. Mmm. So good. Molly, could you focus on something besides your stomach for more than five seconds? Okay, fine. What do you want? Well, I thought we could take this meal once it's cooked over to Grandma's house. You know, just surprise her. Wow, that actually sounds pretty nice. And I guess I don't mind helping since it's for Grandma. Perfect. Um, we could make some homemade applesauce too. Will you grab some apples? Sure, why not? So what did Brookie want to do today, Molly? Um, mm, this is a good apple. Don't eat the apples, Molly. We're making it into applesauce. Ah, uh, Brookie wanted to know if I wanted to come over to her house or go to the park or something. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah, it was. But here I am, making food. I really don't mind, though. Grandma's amazing. She really is.
Ellie, stop sampling Grandma's food. Sorry. <laughs> kind of hungry after all this cooking. Well, I'm going to call Grandma. Actually, your hands are full. I'll call Grandma. As soon as I get done eating this donut. Mmm. That's good. Delicious, actually. Molly, call Grandma. Okay, I'm already on it. We don't want her dinner to get cold. Daisy, it's just ringing and ringing. No one's answering. Hi, you've reached Grandma's house. I can't answer the phone right now. Please leave a message. Hi, Grandma. It's me, Molly. Oh, man. Her mailbox is full. Molly, try again. Maybe her voicemail is just broken. Okay. It's just ringing. Hi, you've reached Grandma. Leave a message after the beep. Grandma, it's me, Molly, and I want to come over and give you some food. Did you leave the message? Yeah, but it's really weird. Grandma always answers her phone. I mean, she's old. It's not like she has a life or something. I know. I'm a little worried about her. Maybe we should go check on her. We could take her the food. She won't mind if we come over if we... Well, um, she wasn't expecting us or whatever. Good point. Let's go. And also, I have to finish my donut on the way. Molly, stop eating so much food! Can't help it. Donuts are delicious. Over the river and through the woods to Grandmother's house we go. The scooter knows the way to carry Daisy and I through the... Whoa, that snow is kind of creepy. You know what's creepy is when you sing those songs, Molly. Ay, ay, ay. My sister's so annoying. You love it, Daisy. You love it! <laughs> Why are we going through town? Because it's the quickest way to get to Grandma's cottage, of course. We're here! I love Grandma's cottage. It's so adorable. She even has like a little bridge over the pond here. Ugh, she's amazing. Molly, do you think we should just go right in? Well, that might be kind of rude, but we should probably knock first. What's this? Grandma's crying. <gasps> Who's that man in there? I don't know. It, it looks like he might be kicking her out of the house or something. Or maybe he's robbing her. Molly, I wouldn't jump to conclusions. But Grandma, she's she's crying. Molly, I think this might be Grandma's private business. Maybe we shouldn't bother her. But what if he's a robber? Molly, he does not a robber. He looks like a, I don't know, a, 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 a bank guy kicking her out of her house because she didn't pay her mortgage? Yeah, sort of like that. But maybe Grandma wouldn't want us to know that. Okay, well... I'll just leave. Wait, did you hear her? She said, I'll just leave. Come on, Daisy. Let's go around the side of the house. Molly, um, I, I don't know if we should stay here. I mean, it's kind of rude to be at Grandma's house without her knowing we're here. Exactly. That's why we're hiding over here. Come on. M Molly, do you think Grandma's going to lose her house? I don't know, Daisy. I really don't. But if she's that poor, she's definitely going to need this takeout. Good point, Molly. Good point. Daisy, maybe we should follow Grandma. I don't know. Something about this just making me feel like that guy is not a good guy. What if he really is, like, robbing her house or something? You're right, Marley. Let's follow Grandma on the scooter. <laughs> Hurry, Daisy. We don't want to lose her. Okay, Marley, I'm going. The scooter doesn't want to start. Did you put gas in it? Marley, of course I did. Okay, I was going to say, if you didn't, I have gas for you. <laughs> Marley! <laughs> Molly, what's Grandma's car doing at the hospital? I don't know. What does this all mean? You don't think that Grandma's sick, do you? I told you we shouldn't feed her donuts. Well, we didn't feed her the donuts. It's not my fault she's sick. Oh, my gosh, Molly. This this doesn't sound good. Well, let's just go talk to this nurse in here. Excuse me. Um, I'm, I'm here to see my Grandma. Oh, yes. Your Grandma just checked in. She's in room two. Um, can we know why? Um, that's something you should probably talk to your grandma about. You know, we have rules here about not telling other people's medical histories. Oh my god. Grandma, she's gonna die! Oh no! It's the end! Molly, I can't believe it! <laughs> well, at least she can eat this delicious food we made for her. Molly! <laughs> Come on, Daisy. Let's go see grandma and give her our last present. Grandma? Oh, what are you doing here, Molly? And what are you, Daisy? What are you both doing here? Grandma, I'm so sorry that you're dying. What? What are you talking about? 
Grandma, we made you this food. We hope it's the most delicious food you've ever tasted, since it'll probably be your last meal. Oh, Brooks Diner. No, that's that's just the takeout box we used. It was it was lying around at the house. We made the food ourselves. Oh, well, in that case, it'll be super delicious. Grandma, I can't live without you. What are you girls talking about? I'm not dying. I'm just in here waiting on my shots. Your shots? Why do you have rabies? Are you a dog for real? Molly, you know Grandma's not a dog. Grandma, what are you talking about? Are you in denial? Grandma! No, no, no. I'm going on a trip to Hawaii, actually. <laughs> and, well, I wanted to make sure I was as fit as a fiddle. Shh, turns out my doctor wants me to have a flu shot and all sorts of shots before I go. Oh, wow, shots are, are the pits. I wouldn't want to have that. Me either. But going to Hawaii would probably motivate me. But, Grandma, we saw you at your house crying and there was this man and it looked like he was kicking you out of your house. <laughs> Grandma, I don't think you losing your house is a laughing matter. Yeah, Grandma. That banker didn't look too happy. Or was he a robber? Oh, dear. You two have wild imaginations. Why were you crying when we came in here? You look so sad. Yeah, Grandma. What's really going on here? Tell us the truth. Are you really going to Hawaii? Who was that man? Why were you crying? I'm so confused. Oh, dear. You two have it all wrong. I'm going to Hawaii, that's true. And I'm here to get shots so that I'm fit as a fiddle to go. The man at my house was a cat sitter. And I'm very sad because I can't take kitty kittums on the plane to Hawaii. <coughs> Seriously? That's why you were crying? Because your cat has to stay home? Well, in Grandma's defense, she loves her cat. Grandma! We thought you were dying or being robbed or your house was being taken back from the bank. We had no idea you were just crying over your silly cat. Hey, my cat's amazing. Don't call her silly. Sorry, Grandma. Well, anyway, we brought you this. Is there a donut inside? Grandma, you can't eat donuts. They're bad for your arteries. Yeah, Grandma. I put a giant donut inside. Molly! Well, she seems to be fit as a fiddle to me. Nothing like a good donut, right, Grandma? That's right, Molly. And besides, Daisy, I'm on vacation. I can cheat a little. Well, must be I'm on vacation every day. Because <laughs> I'm always eating donuts. Oh, Molly. <laughs> you remind me so much of myself at your age. So much of myself. Dear Luke, Will you be my valentine? No, that's too, that's too, like, I don't know, boring. Um, you're cute. Let's be valentines. No, that's too direct. How am I going to write the perfect valentine to Luke? Molly, what are you doing right now? I'm writing a special valentine to Luke. I'm even decorating the envelope. Molly, you have to make valentines for the whole class, not just Luke. I know, I already did all the other valentines. But this one to Luke is special. Oh boy, you have such a crush on him. Do you think he'd like it if I put this donut inside the envelope? Mm, I love donuts. Not if you're taking a bite out of it, Molly. Well, I thought we could share. Molly, it's rude to give somebody a half-eaten donut. <laughs> That's not saying be my valentine. Do you think I could put a slice of pizza in there? No, if you put a slice of pizza in an envelope, Molly, it's going to get all squished and gross, and the envelope's going to get greasy. Maybe stick with some candy and um, a valentine and a stuffed animal. Oh, you're a genius, Daisy. I know, I know. I've been told that a million times before. So, um, do you have a crush on anybody? No, but if I did, I wouldn't be telling you. Okay, well, I guess tomorrow I'll see if she gives a special valentine to anybody. <laughs> Gee, it's Valentine's Day! This is so exciting. I can't wait to give my presents to Luke. Oh, Molly, you look adorable. I just wore the same one, same old. Oh, M-G! Today's such an important day because I'm going to ask Luke to be my Valentine. 
Well, you're giving him adorable gifts. He should say yes. Come on, let's go into the classroom and give everybody their cards. Sounds like a great idea. Luke, Luke. So anyway, I was wondering, do you want to be my Valentine? Here's WrestleMania tickets. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, sure. What? But, 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 Luke was supposed to be my Valentine. I can't believe this. I, I spent all that time making a special card and, and getting him presents. Great. I'm so glad because you're like the best athlete in the entire school and I'm a cheerleader. So it's like we were meant to be Valentines. Um, yeah, you're probably right, Sarah. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Molly? Molly, where are you going? Molly? <laughs> I guess you're my only little friend now, monkey. You can be my Valentine, right? <laughs> I can't believe I dressed up for, for Valentine's Day. It was all for nothing. Molly, oh my gosh, don't cry. It's okay. Nothing's okay. Luke was supposed to be my Valentine. Molly, that's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Sometimes we like somebody and they don't like us back. I thought he liked me too and wanted to be my valentine. We've been friends for a long time. Oh, I'm sorry, Molly. I'm, I'm really sorry. Um, you could have the valentine for me if you want. Hint, hint, it has a donut inside. I don't even want a donut. What? You don't want a donut? Oh, you really are depressed. <laughs> ah, I was going to give him this adorable monkey. I mean, it, <laughs> That's it. Hug the adorable monkey. It'll make you feel better, Molly. It'll make you feel better. Come on, Molly. They're having pizza for lunch today. One of your favorites. I don't want pizza. I don't want anything. Oh, come on, Molly. I know you better than that. I know you want pizza. Okay. Well, maybe I want pizza, but I'm still really sad about Luke not being my valentine. Dry your tears, Molly, and let's go have pizza. Well, I guess Luke isn't my valentine this year, but I still have pizza. So, yeah, he's going to be my valentine. Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, because I got him WrestleMania tickets. That was an amazing present, right? Oh, my gosh, they're sitting next to each other at lunch. Molly, over here, I got you a slice of pizza. Oh my gosh, I, I I can't even be seen right now. I, I'll cry. I'll cry. I'll just sit here in study hall and 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 eat a snack by myself. Molly! Molly, I'm over here! Here, Molly, here's your pizza. Thanks, Daisy. You know, you're not such a bad sister after all. Thanks, Molly. You're not such a bad sister either. Sorry today didn't go like you wanted it to. Me too. Me too. Ugh, goodbye to the worst day of my life. Hey, Molly, can I sit by you? Oh, ugh, I guess. She's mad at you, Luke. Wait, what? Molly, why? We're like BFFs. No, not anymore, Luke. Not anymore. She doesn't want to sit by you on the school bus, Luke. Molly, what did I do? Please tell me. Daisy, don't you dare say anything. Oh, no, no, I'll stay out of this one. This is drama, though. Um, okay, um, well... You basically ruined my Valentine's Day. What? Why? Well, because I was going to give you this. And this. A donut? And also a, a stuffed monkey? Wow, that's really great. Oh, yeah. This is internet gold. Daisy, turn that off! Sorry, I'm just saying. So, wait. You were going to give me those things for Valentine's Day? Of course I was! That was when I was going to ask if you wanted to be my valentine, but obviously you don't! Daisy, turn that off! Molly, I'm sorry, but the YouTube fans get to know. Ugh! My entire life is on YouTube. And then I saw, anyway, any, I saw you saying to Sarah that you'd be her valentine. And of course you don't want to be mine because you wouldn't have said you'd be yes, you'd be her valentine. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Molly. I didn't know that anyone else would ask me and... Well, she did get me WrestleMania tickets. Whatever! You you picked her because she got your WrestleMania tickets? No, it's just she was the one that asked, and I didn't think anyone else would ask me, so I didn't think it was a big deal. It's a big deal, especially to girls. It's a big deal! Oh, I'm, I'm really sorry, Molly. But, um, the day's not over yet. 
Do you want to go to WrestleMania with me? You could be my Valentine for the rest of the day. Seriously? Are you serious? Yeah, but I still want that stuffed monkey. He's adorable. Oh, well, here you go. Oh, cute little monkey. Excuse me, did I just hear you say you're going to take Molly to the WrestleMania thing? We're supposed to go together to that because, like, we're Valentines. You don't even like wrestling. You don't either. I can learn to like it. <laughs> of course I'll go with you, Luke. Sorry, you didn't specify I was supposed to take you, Sarah. Oh my gosh, the drama thickens. Daisy! Sorry! YouTube fans want to see it all, Molly. Good, bad, and evil. Okay, YouTube subscribers, what do you think's going to happen next? Tell us in the comment section below. Daisy! Sorry, Molly. I'm not turning it off. Whatever. I didn't want to be your Valentine's anyway, so give me back the tickets. Really? You're taking the tickets back? Yeah, give them to me. Um, I'm really sorry, Molly, but I can't take you to WrestleMania. That's okay. We could always get off the bus and go get an ice cream. Sounds great. Let's go. Come on, Luke. We can walk there. Wait, you guys aren't taking the bus home? What are you talking about? No, we're not. We don't want to be anywhere near you. Come on, Valentine. Let's go. Yes! Well, the worst Valentine's Day actually turned out to be the best one. I couldn't agree more, Molly. <laughs> I'm glad you're my Valentine. Thanks for the awesome presents. Um, well, thanks for asking me to WrestleMania, even though you couldn't take me. Ice cream's better anyway. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day! What should I wear today? Well, not that it really matters, because no one's really going to see me anyway. Hey, freak! Lucas, get out of my room! <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, you're such a weirdo. What? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm normal. How come you have cat ears then and that bright pink hair? Mom won't even let you leave the house. I'm, I'm beautiful in my own way, okay? At least that's what mom tells me. Now get out of my room! Fine, whatever, freak. Bye. Have fun staying here all day homeschooling while I go hang out with my friends at school. <sighs> Hi, I'm Maggie, and this is my life. Yes, I was born part cat, and no one has ever seen my face except for my mom and my brother. Hi, Mom! Oh, hi, Maggie. Good morning. Are you hungry for breakfast, my cute little girl? Are you purring? Oh, yeah, that's right. You were born part cat. I guess that's sort of normal. I mean, your brother didn't do that, but he's not part cat. Anyway, do you want something to eat? Ah, uh, yeah, Mom. I'd really like some tuna right from the can. Tuna? Um, honey, normally little kids don't eat tuna for breakfast. I want tuna. It sounds so good. And also a, a dish of milk, please. Oh, okay. Meow. This looks delicious. Maggie, that's that's not how we eat. Humans don't eat like that. Meow. I'm part cat, and this is how I eat. Mmm, it's delicious. More of the tuna, Mom. Yeah, being a little kid was really hard. I had to learn how to be more human than cat. My mom still gets freaked out when I purr. But I only usually purr when I'm super happy. I am still part cat, you know. <sighs> the only thing is, is my mom and my brother are even freaked out by how I look. So mom thought it was best if no one on the planet ever saw how I looked. Ever! There's only one problem with being stuck in the house with no one being allowed to see me. And that's... I have no life. I'm lonely and I'm getting sick and tired of being stuck in these four walls. Sometimes I get so jealous of my brother and he's so mean to me about being part cat. Oh, honey, there you are. Are you ready to start homeschooling? No, I'm not ready. I don't want to do this anymore. Do what, honey? Oh, you look beautiful today, by the way. No, I don't. I look ugly. I'm the ugliest girl in all of Brookhaven. <laughs> Honey, that's not true. Don't say that. I am. <laughs> Meow. Oh, no. Now I 
let my cat side come out. <laughs> no one would like me because I'm part cat. It was then that I think my mom started to have a change of heart. She didn't want to just keep me as a prisoner in this house. She didn't want me to think that I was so different that no one would ever love me or accept me. Maggie, I think I made the wrong decisions with you. What? What are you talking about, Mom? Well, honey, I I kept you in the house so no one could see you to, to keep you safe. And I don't know, there's no other cat human that I know of in all of Brookhaven or the world. And I was just a little worried that scientists would want to study you and, and I don't know, poke you with needles and... What? What are you talking about, Mom? Well, that's what I'm saying. You're the only cat human, and scientists would be very interested in, to know why. I didn't want you to be a test subject. Oh, I see, Mom. And I didn't want you to get teased for being different. I know, Mom. It's just sometimes I get so sick of just being in this house all the time. Sometimes I feel like I'm gonna go crazy! <laughs> I know, Maggie, and that's why I've made a decision. We are going to disguise you. Say what? What are you talking about, Mom? We're going to disguise you so you can go to school with the rest of the kids your age. But you can never, ever take your disguise off. Seriously, Mom? You figured out how to disguise me? Yeah, I've been thinking that this day may come, and I've been practicing on myself. I think that I can cover up the fact that you're part cat. Meow! Really, Mom? Yeah, as long as you don't let out those meows or purr, no one should know the difference. But your pink hair will have to stay, because there's no way we can dye that away. Oh my gosh! I think I might actually get to live like everyone else does. Okay, Mom, I agree. Disguise me, disguise me. Just remember, Maggie, there's nothing wrong with the way that you are. We're just doing this to protect you. Um, okay, Mom, I understand. All right, let's get started. Oh my gosh, Mom, I, I look normal. Meow. But just remember, no meowing while you're at school, okay? Okay, Mom, thank you so much. I can't wait to have a normal life. Just remember, don't let your guard down. Don't tell anybody you're part cat. I won't, Mom. I promise. And just like that, I started my life as a normal girl. OMG, my first day of real school. I'm kind of nervous. My tummy has butterflies. It's going to be okay, Maggie. It's going to be okay. You can do this. Meow. Just don't let out any meows. Oh my gosh. Maggie? Is that you? Yes, it's me, Lucas. Mom disguised me and we're not allowed to tell anyone. Don't worry. I won't freak. Ugh, you're such a horrible big brother. Ugh. Barf. Oh, who are you? I've never seen you before. Oh, yeah, I used to be homeschooled, but I'm a new student. I'm Maggie. Oh, hey, I'm Sarah. Nice hair. Wow, it's really bright pink. Yeah, um, well, where I used to live, pink was like the hair color. So I just, I wanted to keep it this way. It's very me. Uh-huh, sure. Well, you're standing next to my locker, so I guess maybe we can be friends oh a friend i i i never had a friend before what you've never had a friend before oh i mean in this town in brookhaven where we used to live in blacksburg yeah i had lots of friends tons of friends i wasn't homeschooled no no i went to an awesome school there my parents moved um uh, my mom got a new job yeah i i go to school here now Okay, weirdo. Chill out. We can be friends. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. We're even wearing the same shirt. Sarah, you know what this means? We're like twinsies. Whatever. I'm the most popular girl in school. I don't have a twin with anyone. Oh, yeah. Of course. Sure. From that moment forward, Sarah and I were besties. Well, at least in my mind, we were best friends. Mm. 
This school pizza is delicious. You act like you've never had school pizza before. <laughs> okay, sometimes, Maggie, you say the weirdest things. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> it's just, well, um, mm, I never had Brookhaven high um, food before. Yeah, that's it. So, Maggie, today at lunch, I want you to tell me your deepest, darkest secret. What? My deepest, darkest secret? Why? Because that means that we're actually best friends. Only when I know your deepest, darkest secret can we actually be BFFs. Oh, um, well, I'm not really supposed to tell you, but you are my best friend. Just promise me you won't tell anyone, Sarah. Me? Of course I wouldn't. Don't be ridiculous, Maggie. We're best friends after all. Okay, come into the bathroom and I'll show you. Seriously, in the bathroom, why? You'll see, come on. Okay, let me just lock the door. Wow, this really is your deepest, darkest secret. All right, now turn around. If this is a prank, Maggie, I'm gonna be so mad at you. It's not a prank, okay? Okay, I know this might be shocking, but you can turn around. What's that, a cat? Yeah, you can turn around, turn around. Ah! What's going on with your face? And why do you have cat ears? Um, don't freak out. Um, meow. But I'm part cat. And this is making me really nervous, so now I'm meowing a whole lot when I'm supposed to be pretending that I'm only human. Seriously? You're part cat and part human? Uh-huh. But don't tell anyone, okay, Sarah? Um, okay, so you wear a disguise every day? Yeah, I'll show you. Holy guacamole! But like you said, Sarah, don't tell anyone. No, no, I won't, Maggie. Uh, nope, no, I wouldn't tell anyone your deep, dark secret. So I'll see you in ninth period? Yeah, sure. Bye! Oh, I hope I did the right thing by telling her my secret. I'm going to be late for English class. <sighs> <sighs> Maggie is part cat? <gasps> Sarah, you betrayed me! I thought you were my best friend, but, but I was wrong. Okay, wh where's the eraser? We have to erase this before the rest of the class gets in here. Not a chance, weirdo. You're a serious freak. I'm calling the authorities. What? No, give me that phone! Get away from my cell phone before I, before I, before I call the principal. Sarah, please. I thought we were friends. <laughs> They'll want to experiment on me. I was so heartbroken that my best friend had betrayed me. But I couldn't think about that now. I had to run. Where should I run to? I've never had to run away before. Oh my gosh, I wish I was with my mom. But if I go back to my house, they'll find me there, I bet. Okay, I just gotta run really fast. I don't want anyone to capture me. Oh no, my my makeup is coming off. And now everyone can see I'm a cat. I've gotta run, I've gotta run. Oh. Hold it right there. <laughs> Hi. I'm not an evil science lab, I promise. What? You stay away from me! Just hold still, this won't hurt a bit. <laughs> this isn't laughing, guys, just hold still. What? <laughs> Why am I laughing then? <laughs> Whoa, I feel weird. Now it's time to find out why you're part cat, part human. Let me out of here! Maybe I could make a jump for it. I mean, I am part cat. Oh, but it might break my legs. Oh, wait, what's that smell? It's gas filling up the entire cab of this van. You'll be going night-night any minute. What? I feel kind of funny. Oh, what? where am I? Well, 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 she's finally awake. Meow. Whoa, she meowed like a cat. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I don't know why. I mean, she's part cat, but she meows even. Let me out of here. I'm going to call my mom. No one can hear you. Now we just have to draw some blood to see why you're 
part cat. Stop it! Oh, you scratched me, you naughty little cat! Oh my gosh, I've got to make a break for it! Oh my gosh, i got to get to my mom. She'll know what to do! Mom! Mom! Maggie, what's wrong? Mom, I accidentally told somebody I'm part cat! Meow! What? Maggie? Yeah, and she told everyone, and, and this crazy scientist... He took my blood to see what, well, he tried to see why I was part cat, and, 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 and I scratched him, but, but, but what? But what? But he's going to be after me, him and all of his scientist friends. They want to find out why I'm part cat. Oh my gosh, Maggie, this is why I tried to keep you in the house where you were safe. All right, let me call your brother's cell phone. We're going to have to move right away. My whole family had to move after that. And we move every like three months just so I never get caught. And I made the wrong choice trusting Sarah. I can never, ever let anyone see my face ever again. I'm such a lowly mermaid. I wish I just had someone that I, I could share my life with. But I'm the last mermaid in existence so i'm destined to live alone well except for my fish bubbles he keeps me company sometimes but i wish there was more of my own kind mermaids oh it's so sad to be the only mermaid left in the entire world i'm going to meet my sister she's gonna be super happy I bet she was just like me and thought she was the very last mermaid. Nope! Turns out she's not. I'm also a mermaid. <laughs> now I just gotta find her. Excuse me! Uh, yes? What can I do for you? Uh, have you seen a mermaid named Daisy? No. Excuse me, have you seen a mermaid named Daisy? No, sorry! No mermaid named Daisy! Oh, this ocean is so huge! How am I ever gonna find her? I know. I'll use my magic ring. We're going to send out a signal, and then I'm going to be able to find her. I'm such a lonely mermaid. I'm such a lonely mermaid. Hello? I is your name Daisy? Who are you? Go away! Wait a minute. You aren't human? You're also a mermaid? That's right. But wait, I thought I was the last of my kind. So didn't I. But it turns out I have a sister. Whoa, so there's actually three of us? No, silly! You're my sister! Wait, what? I'm your sister? But I have brown hair with red streaks, and you have blonde hair. So, we can have different colored hair and still be sisters. Holy guacamole! How'd you do that? The fish taught me how to do it. It basically is called a water ball. I can't believe I have a sister! Th th this is this amazing! I know, I thought the same thing. And then I went on an epic journey. I had to travel really far across the ocean to find you. Really? How far did you travel? Well, I was only really traveling today, but I ate my entire cupcake on the way. So that felt like pretty far. Whoa, you like cupcakes too? What's your favorite? Ooh, I love seaweed kelp um, cupcakes. They're my favorite. Ooh, me too. I can't believe I have a sister. Now I won't have to spend my life all alone. I was so lonely without another mermaid around. I know what you mean. I was lonely too. Hey, what's that ring on your finger for? Oh, this is a special ring. It's called a moon ring. It's magic and it can do a lot of things. Fix like what? Well, it helped me find you. And also, it can help us walk on land as humans. What? Are you serious? Yep, and I just have an extra one just for you. Oh my gosh! It's beautiful! Thank you! Now, you can try walking on the island. I don't know about this. It seems kind of scary, sister. Wait a minute. Did you even tell me your name yet? I just can't call you sister forever. My name is Molly. Oh, wow. Well, my name's Daisy. No, it's great. Come on, follow me. I don't know. I think maybe I'll just stay here. Yeah! See? I have legs. You want to have legs too, Daisy. It's so fun. You can jump and run. You can run super fast. Well, not me, because I ate way too many cupcakes today. 
I don't know. This seems kind of scary. You can do it, Daisy. Come on. Uh, whoa! Uh, I'm human! And I'm a mummy! And I'm human! And I'm a mummy! Whoa, your ring seems to be, well, broken. What? No! But, but I want to try being a human! Well, it seems like it's worked now. I hope you can go back to being a mermaid. Wait, what? I can't go back? I don't know. Your ring seems kind of, well, faulty. Oh, no! Look at this island, though. There's so many things to discover. What if there's like animals on here that'll try to eat us? <laughs> like what? I don't know, like a snake or something. Yeah, there might be snakes, but I'm not afraid. So I've got my moon ring, and it's powerful. Now, what do you want to do first? How do we play tag? Wait, calm down a minute. I'm trying to just be a, a human for the first time, and it's a little overwhelming. Nah, nah, nah. You're fine. You're fine. Come on, let's go. Wow. Um, I like to be very calm. When I'm trying something new. Not me. I'm full of energy. Wee, wee, wee. Come on, we can climb this tree. <laughs> That'd be fun, right? Okay, Marley. How about you go over there for a minute and I'll go over here. Bye. Daisy? Okay, you want to play hide and seek. All right, I'm great at this game. One, two, three, four. Here I come. Oh, brother. I found you. I don't know if you're really my sister or not. <laughs> yeah, right. Of course I'm your sister. What are you talking about? You don't look like me, so you can't be my sister. No, it was written in the Mermaid Book of History. We're sisters. Okay, well, maybe we could just spend a little time apart. I like quiet time. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's going to be fun, 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 fun. O-M-G. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, let's play hide and seek. You um, count to a million and then come find me. Okay. A million. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. One million. Huh, finally. It took me forever to, to count that high. <laughs> Daisy? 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 Daisy, where are you? Daisy? Huh. I can't find her anywhere. She's great at hide and seek. Oh my gosh, I finally lost her. Oh, I've got to go back to being a mermaid. I don't want to hurt her feelings or anything, but my sister's kind of annoying, so I'm thinking that maybe I just want to be alone. And I don't want to be a human. I want to be a mermaid. being a mermaid better, huh? Well, no problem. We could be a mermaid together. <laughs> uh, yeah, about that. Uh, we're going to be sisters forever, which means we're pretty much going to be like twinsies. Oh, brother. Can't believe it. It's my first day of kindergarten. OMG. This is going to be so cool. Well, I think so. I I've never been to kindergarten before. Okay, I just got to brush my teeth. Wait a minute. I can't reach the sink. How am I going to go to school now? I I'm too short. I can't go to school with stinky breath. Maddie, what are you doing? Hurry up. We have to go. I can't go to kindergarten. What? We have to go. I'm going to be late to school and... I want to start off with my amazing career on the right foot. Uh, but but I can't go. Why? Because I can't reach the sink to brush my teeth. Well, you'll have to skip it, Molly. I don't want to skip it. I have stinky breath. Well, you can say that again. P.U., your breath does stink. Okay, I have an idea. I'll, um, I'll crouch down and you can jump on me to get on the sink. Are you sure, Daisy? Absolutely, Molly. Try it. Uh, I, uh, wait, I made it! Awesome! Now brush your teeth and hurry up! We have to go! Toothbrush, toothbrush, toothbrush. Oh, there it is! La, 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 la. Molly, how can I start my career as a rocket scientist if you don't get to school on time? <laughs> that reminds me of um when we first started daycare, remember? Yeah, I think you made us late that day, too. What? No, I didn't! I think I did a bag at the ball. Don't forget! Hooray! 
Hey, he's not happy about coming to take you. I want my mommy, man. Don't worry, it'll be okay. Your mommy will come back, I know it. What if our mommy doesn't come back, Daisy? She left us here, too. <laughs> Molly, it's gonna be okay, I promise. Don't cry. Mom will be back soon. Hello. <laughs> Would you guys like to come over and play in the circle? We're gonna read books and stuff. <laughs> Molly, why are you crying again? I have a dirty diaper! Oh my goodness, Molly, that's horrible! Well, maybe one of these nice people would change your diaper. I don't want I like to be my friend. Molly, that's not a good way to start your new um career at daycare. Well, hello there, little girl. Why don't you come over here? There's going to have lots of fun. We're going to play games and we're going to have snacks. Where are you going with my sister? Come back here. That's my sister. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, I, I got a new diaper. Why do I got a new diaper? I make poo poo. No one changed my diaper. <laughs> Molly, are you laughing or crying? Crying. And I'm laughing. <laughs> I don't know. Molly can't make up her mind if she's happy or sad. Yeah, that's all right. That's all right. You dropped me! I get to take her kill one star. I gave it one star too. He dropped me. I want my mommy. Don't worry. Stop crying. Seriously, your mommy will come back eventually. Yeah. Molly, let's go play with toys. Okay, go play with toys. Ooh, you a stinky diaper. I know! No one changed my diaper! Woo! Hi, I'm Brittany. Hi, I'm Lily. Hi, I'm Molly. Hi! Whoa! <laughs> that was crazy we went to daycare. I know, it was kind of fun though, right? Um, yeah, once we got used to going. I bet that's exactly how kindergarten's gonna be. Yeah. Probably. I think we'll eventually like it, but maybe the first day will be a little scary and a little different. True. Well, we better get going. The school bus is here. Yeah, let's go. Hello, class, and welcome to kindergarten. I'm so glad you're all here today. I know you're going to do awesome on your journey through school. Hi, I'm Molly. Hi, Molly. I'm Mrs. Smith. Hi, I'm Daisy. Hi, Daisy. Oh, this is so lame. Why am I even... At school. To learn so you can be super smart and get any kind of job you want or start a business or something when you get older. It's a really your choice, but you need a good education. That's what my mom and dad say. Whatever. This is so boring. Okay, well, I'd like everyone to split into groups, please. And um, we're going to practice our ABCs. Can you believe this, Mr. Monkey? It's our first day of kindergarten. We're going to learn our alphabet. Why do you still have a, that stuffed animal? Stuffed animals are for babies. Um, because I'm still little, so I have a stuffed animal. If you're a grown-up, you use a laptop like me. Uh, but I'm not a grown-up. I'm still a kid. Well, I just think you're a loser. Wait, what? You're a loser. Huh? What? Why would you say that? And I don't like your monkey. He's ugly. <laughs> Molly, is everything okay over there? She's just crying like a big baby. Sarah, we try to use nice words in this kindergarten class. Molly, what's wrong? You want my mom? I want to go home. Oh, Molly, it's normal to miss your mom on your first day of school, but, you know, it's going to be okay. We're going to have fun, right? No, this isn't fun at all. I don't like school. Well, Molly, I think you might change your mind eventually. <laughs> now let's go to lunch and see if we can have a much better day. Well, okay. That girl's really me. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's that smell? Something smells really good. It's... Is that what I think it is? Molly, are you okay? I am now. That smells like pizza. Daisy, did you know that they have pizza at the school? Yeah, I, I knew because they sent mom the, the uh, cafeteria menu a week ago. Holy guacamole. I picked my favorite subject at school. What is it, Molly? Lunch. Oh, brother. Uh, how much longer do I have to be in here, Mrs. Smith? Molly, your detention just started, and it's already boring. Molly, take out a piece of paper and a pen, please, and write, I will do my homework about a hundred times. 
Oh, man. Molly, you have to start taking school seriously. It's very important that you get good grades and you learn. It will set you up for the rest of your life. I mean, you wouldn't want to be stuck in detention forever, would you? What? Forever? I can hardly make it through five minutes of this. This is horrible. Exactly. So you need to start applying yourself and doing better. What you do now is going to affect you in high school and for the rest of your life. Wow. Never thought about it like that. Can I be dismissed? I'm hungry for pizza day. Molly, I know that lunch is your favorite favorite subject, but you're not getting out of detention. Oh, man. Miss Smith, Miss Smith. Oh, there you are. You wanted to see me? Molly, are you in detention again? No talking to the prisoner, please. Prisoner? Yeah, Molly, you're in detention jail again. What can I do for you, Mrs. Smith? Well, Daisy, I see you got another hundred on your test. I just can't even believe it. What a goody two-shoes. Molly, remember you're writing. I will remember my homework about a million times. Anyway, I have something special to give you because you won the mathathon too. Really? OMG! Really? Could you be any more perfect? Ugh, so annoying. Yep, here you go. <laughs> it's your very own mathathon trophy. Whoa! I love math. It's so awesome. Actually, who did that question on the board? They got it wrong. That would be me! Molly, if you did your homework, this wouldn't happen. Well, Daisy, I just want to congratulate you on being an amazing student. You're well on your way to rocket science. I know, right? I've wanted this since day kale. Ugh. Sisters are so annoying. Uh, Mrs. Smith, I've been here a really long time and, um, the school is flooding. Well, Molly, your detention is not over yet. But, but the water is up to my knees. I have to go. <sighs> okay, Molly, I guess your detention can be over. But remember what I said about starting to apply yourself at school. Now, you should probably evacuate. Huh, bye! Oh my gosh, it's flooding everywhere in the school. I better get to higher ground. Plus, I totally need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, look, here comes a loser. Whatever, Sarah. Huh. Rude. I've had the worst day ever. Oh, uh, let me guess. You didn't do your homework and you got detention again. You spent your life in there. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Oh, what a loser. I'm not a loser, Sarah. Yeah, you are. And you're a little bit ugly, too. What? That wasn't nice. You're, you're, just, you're just bullying me. Whatever, loser. I've got to talk to my friends. See you later. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> you just come into the bathroom and you're mean to me. Correction, you came into the bathroom. Ugh, whatever. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, money, maybe coming to the beach today wasn't such a good idea. Holy guacamole, there is no beach. It's completely flooded. Molly, be careful. The water's over your head. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get to higher ground. <sighs> Molly, what are we going to do if the whole town is flooded? Too late, Daisy. Holy guacamole. Daisy, what are we going to do if this keeps flooding? We're going to be stuck here, Molly. And maybe, maybe we'll do... Wow. Oh my gosh, that's terrible, Daisy. Hello up there. Do you need help? I've got a floating um, four-wheeler. Whoa, you mean a boat? No, it's a four-wheeler with floating tires. Come on, I can help you. Why ask questions, Molly? Just get on the floating four-wheeler. Okay, wait a minute. I'm trying to get on. I, I can't get on. Oh, my God, I'm in a tram. Hold on to me. I'm Luke, by the way. Oh, hi. I'm I'm Molly. Hey, you too. Are you going to remember me? I'll be back for you. Whoa. Whoa, Luke, be careful. Don't worry. I'm an expert at driving these floating four-wheelers. Okay. Whoa, I can see that you are. You just crashed again. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying my best. I'm a little nervous. I've never seen a girl as beautiful as you. What? Nothing. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Okay, I I'm going to go rescue the other girl. That other girl's my sister. Her name's Daisy. Okay, well, I'll be back in a minute. Wait, what's your name? My name's Molly. My name's Luke. See you in a minute. Uh, bye, Luke. OMG, he's so nice, and he's so cute. Oh, I really like him. Daisy, Luke brought you back. Yeah, he's really nice, huh? And so cute. What? Molly, did you fall for Luke? Um, well, uh... You did, Molly! Look, the flood is gone. Ugh, thank goodness. That was crazy. Hey, guys! <laughs> Look, the flooding's all gone and the sun's out. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, it, it sure is. Thanks so much for uh, rescuing. You re uh, re uh, she means rescuing us. Yeah, sorry. Got a little tongue tied there. No problem. Hey, um, so I'll see you in school tomorrow? Yeah, I never noticed you in school before. That's because I just moved here. Oh, well, um, maybe you have the same teacher as me. I have Mrs. Smith for math and English. Me too. We could sit next to each other tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh, did you guys see that flood? It was so insane. Wait a minute, why am I talking to you? Oh, who are you? Oh, hi, I'm Luke. Hi, I'm Sarah. Oh, hi, Sarah. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> uh, so are you going to the dance on Friday? Um, excuse me, but Luke and I were talking. Actually, I've got to get going. <laughs> I'm going to be late for dinner, and I'm starving. See you guys tomorrow. Bye, Luke. Oh, he's so dreamy. What? Don't even think about it, loser. I think he's gonna be my boyfriend. What? No, he's not. He's gonna be my boyfriend. No, what would he want to do with a loser like you? Pff, I can't even believe he talked to you. It's just because he's a nice person. What? That's not true. Yeah, it is. See you later, loser. Tomorrow, when I ask him to the dance, everything's gonna be amazing. What? No! Where's our teacher? Like, she's late for school. Does that mean she gets detention? It's probably still flooded where she is, Sarah. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Okay, I just walk into the classroom and just ask her. Oh, my gosh. It's Luke. Hey, Luke. <laughs> oh, he's about to ask me. Oh, uh, hi, Sarah. Hi, Luke. Okay, so I'll just spare you, like, of feeling nervous because I know I'm gorgeous and stuff, and it would be hard to ask me the dance the answer is yes what he he asked sarah to the dance sorry molly i know you really like luke actually wait a minute sarah i i wasn't gonna ask you to the dance wait what i was going to ask molly what you you were yeah you're so cool, Molly. Would you go to the dance with me? I brought you some flowers. I'm hoping you'll say yes. Yeah, of course I'll go to the dance with you. What? This is preposterous. I cannot believe this. I'm out of here. Ugh, this is horrible. Oh, that's so cute. You guys are going to the dance together. Wow, Luke. This is going to be so much fun going to the dance. Yeah, I think so too. I can't believe I get to take you. Wow, this is YouTube gold. I'm going to make a show about growing up in Beacon High School. I'm going to call it Brook High. Wow, Daisy, that's actually a great idea. Except for not of my life. But Molly, you do go to Brook High. And you're going to their dance with Luke. That's right. I sure am. Molly, are you coming to study hall? Huh? Nah, I'm going to stay here in the gym and work on my um jump shot. But Molly, gym class is over. I don't really have anything to study and I prefer staying in the gym. Study hall is so boring. Okay, well, suit yourself. I don't want to be late. Bye. Bye. I think I did awesome in the just this gym class. I um got so many baskets. It was awesome. You think you actually did good? Who said that? Oh, should have known it was Sarah. Sarah, I don't want to talk to you right now. Did you just throw that ball at my head? No, not really. <laughs> Kinda, sorta, maybe. That was rude. Sorry, um, I did, really didn't mean to. Well, I'm the best basketball player. Everyone in gym class saw it today. No, they didn't. You know I'm a great basketball player. I even made it onto the team. What team? There's only a boys team. Yeah, but one time I dressed up as a boy and then tried out for the team and I made it. I don't believe you. Whatever. Look at that. I just got another one. You're just a loser. No, I'm not. I'm great at basketball. Whatever. I'm great at cheerleading. I'm great at all of my schoolwork. I'm great at everything, including basketball. Yeah, okay, if you say so. Well, if you don't think so, why don't we just have a competition? Yeah, okay, we can have a competition. Whoever gets the most baskets wins. Yeah, um, let's say in one minute. One minute?! Like guacamole! That's not very much time. What are you, chicken? No, I'm not chicken. I can do it. Then let's get started. I'll go first. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, she's getting so many baskets. How am I gonna ever win? Oh, I wanna be the best basketball player.
player. She always bullies me, and I want to show her that I'm good at something. Okay, Molly. You can do this. You can do this. Time's up. I got 50 baskets. 50? Holy guacamole! Your turn, loser. You can't keep throwing baskets. Your turn's over, Sarah. Sarah! Okay, whatever. You're so annoying. On your mark and set, go. One. Two. Oh my gosh, I've gotten every one so far. I'm doing really good. Oh no, I missed that one. It's okay. I'm okay. okay watch this. Oh, yeah! <laughs> that was amazing. Your time's almost up. Okay, I've got, I've got to do more. I've got to do more. <laughs> 51, 51. I win, I win. Oh, yeah? <laughs> now who's the loser? Ah, oh, oh, Sarah, you, you pushed me. Oh, I hit my head. I don't feel so good. Uh. Oh, sucks to be you. I'm out of here. Molly, you're gonna miss English. Molly? Mo Molly! Oh my god, Molly! Somebody call 911! Okay, let's see. Molly. Hmm. Okay, are you the sister? Yes? <laughs> Is he gonna be okay? Well, your sister actually suffered a pretty bad bonk on the head. I know, Sarah pushed her. She got in school suspension for it. Wow, sounds serious. Well, um, I don't know about that drama, but your sister got a bad concussion and now has amnesia. Amnesia? Is that why they can't remember who they are? That's exactly what happened. I don't know if your sister's memory will ever return. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Who am I? Yo, Molly! Don't you remember? The best thing you can do is try to jar her memory. Ah, but I don't hold a lot of hope for your sister. Well, thanks for the positivity! Ay, 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 the doctor's around you. Who am I? Yo, Molly! <laughs> Who am I? Yo, Molly! Who are you? I'm Daisy. I'm Daisy. No, you're Molly. You're Molly. I'm Daisy. No, you're Molly. Who am I? Oh, boy. Baby, if I remind you with some of the amazing memories we had together. I remember one time like it was yesterday. We are um, having our summer break starting today. And we're at the lake. Yeah, we're going to have so much fun. Daisy, I didn't ask you, ask you to be in this scene. Well, I'm a part of this channel, too. I could be in it if I want to. Okay, close-up of just me, because I don't want my sister to be in it. Molly, rude! Ugh, fine. I guess you can say hi, too. Of course I can, Molly. Hi, everybody. It's Stacy, the star of the show. No, I'm the star. No, I'm the star. No, I'm the star. Molly, seriously, can we both be the stars? Nope, just me. Whatever. I'm going to go get in the water. I can't do with my sister anymore. This is going to be the longest summer break ever. I'm already missing school. Yeah, you would miss school. It's just like you to miss school. Ooh, the lake feels awesome today. Yeah, it's nice and warm. Ah, this is the life. When I grow up, I'm just going to be on vacation permanently. Molly, you have to have a job. No, I don't. Who says? Um, well, if you're going to be able to afford to come to the lake every day, you got to have money. Ugh. There's that naggy thing about having money. I wish I could just, like, chill out all day long. Molly, what are you doing? I'm starting a fire so we can roast marshmallows. Ah. <sighs> Wee! Don't get in the cooler, Mom didn't say. Molly, she can have something to drink if she wants. Just because she's little, she's still thirsty sometimes. Don't you want a baba? No, I got you to take a while soda. Soda? Ugh, you're so grown up, baby Kira. Molly, do you remember me now? Huh? Who, who's Molly? Molly, you're Molly. Do you remember yourself? Who are you? I'm your sister, Daisy. Okay, I'm going to have to tell her more memories. I also remember when... <laughs> Baby Kira, I promise it's really not that bad. Our dentist is so nice and 
And, and well, it doesn't hurt or anything. She's freaking out. It's no use. Hello, who's next? Oh, Molly, Daisy, and a brand new patient. Baby Kira. Yeah, my sister is freaking out. Well, come on, baby Kira. Let's see if we can turn that frown upside down. I got good days and I freak out. No, no, no. You won't freak out. Come on, I'll hold your hand. La, 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 la. My sister is freaking out. I'm going to sit here with her, though. Because I'm a nice big sister like that. Okay, baby Kira. Dry your eyes. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, I try. You know what always makes a lot of my patients feel better? A new little friend. I got a monkey. Whoa, I never got a monkey. I want a monkey. You're a big kid now, Molly. But baby Kira is, well, just little. How about this adorable monkey? Do you want to give him a squeeze? Maybe a little hug? I got him. I, I named him uh, Marvin. Wow. <laughs> That's a very interesting name. Marvin the monkey. Okay. What's his name for sure? Marv. Oh, okay. Marv the monkey. I got monkey. Go kill. All right. Now those tears are drying up real quick. Now we're going to tickle your teeth. That's right. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> I just realized that my dentist is a little cray-cray, but it's all right. She's super nice, right? I think. Am I going to have to have a real canal? I hope not, Molly. <laughs> and I'm crazy for teeth. I love teeth. I love teeth. I love teeth. Yes, I do. I love teeth. How about you? Brushing, flossing, make them shine. That's how I've kept my teeth of mine. Wow, Dr. Payne. Good thing you became a dentist because your singing voice is well. Oh, <laughs> I know I'm not the best singer, but I'm happy to be a dentist. Well, if that's your calling in life. I don't know you want to, Abel. Oh, I haven't even tickled your teeth yet. Okay, let's tickle, tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickling your teeth. Huh, well, I guess baby Kira isn't so sad anymore. Look at her face. And her teeth are super shiny and white. <laughs> I think that she's going to love the dentist from here on out. Okay, baby Kira, you're all done. Uh, and just for being a good girl, I'm going to give you a coupon for a free donut at Starbucks. I get donut, you hear that? I get donut. Oh, wow. <laughs> is it my turn next? Sure is, Molly. Okay, let me take a look. Hmm. Have you been brushing? Uh-huh. And flossing? Uh, well, um, uh... Molly, you haven't been flossing? That's disappointing. I know, I'm sorry. I'll try harder. What's this blue stuff in between your teeth? Uh, 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 uh blueberries, yeah. Um, more like blueberry icing from a blueberry donut. I'm very sorry, Molly, but you have a cavity. What? What? A cavity? Oh, no. Yep, I'll just need to give you a little bit of a shot. Nope, nope, I'm out of here. Um, it's Daisy's turn. Daisy! Molly, it's your turn. Come on. Next time, maybe you'll floss and eat less donuts. Oh, man. Molly, do you remember who you are now? Mm, this is good. What is this? It's called a hot dog. But do you remember who you are? Mmm, hot dogs are delicious. No, I still have no clue who I am. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I also remember when... It's okay, Molly. It'll pass in a minute. Oh my gosh, it's like raining so hard. Let me under there too. You losers need to move over. She already told you our name isn't loser. Look, Molly, the sun is coming out. Yeah, only one problem. The entire park is flooded. Oh man, this totally ruined our amazing summer park day. Only if you let it, loser. Um, seriously, can you start calling me Molly? I don't like being called loser. We could do other cool things. I thought we were losers. You want to hang out with us now? Now? Well, there's no one else to hang out with. Come on, let's do a dare. I don't think so. That sounds like a really bad idea. We sh it's raining again, Molly. Maybe we should just get going home. No, Daisy, I don't want to just give up. I mean, we only have so many summer days, and then it'll be school time again. True. Okay, Sarah, what's the deal you're thinking of? I'm thinking that you should um swing as high as you can and then jump off. That's a terrible idea, Molly. Don't take the deal. I 
dare you, Molly? Um, yeah, I, I don't think that's such a good idea. I double dog dare you. Whoa, this is getting serious. A double dog dare? I triple dog dare you. Molly, don't listen to her. Nothing's worth a triple dog dare. Daisy, it's a triple dog dare. I'll be the biggest chicken on the planet if I don't do it. Okay, fine. I take your triple dog dare. Everything's gonna be fine, Daisy, anyway, because literally, I'm gonna just land in the water. Molly, I think this is such a bad idea. No, it's gonna be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Molly? M Molly? Oh my god, she's under the water! Molly! All I can see is her little face! Molly? Molly? Molly! Oh my god, Molly! Okay, I'm gonna take her sunglasses off and see if her eyes are open. Whoa, I think she might have gotten hurt or something. Figure she would jump over here towards this giant concrete block. Duh, that was silly of her. Don't pick up my sister, she's obviously hurt! Molly, say something! Anything! Look at her leg! It looks broken! I'm sure she's just fine. I mean, she looks sort of... Well, okay, yeah, no, she's not fine. You better call 911. This was all your fault, Sarah, for double dog daring her! Okay, Molly, I'm gonna call an ambulance. Everything's gonna be fine. Just hang on, Molly, hang on. <laughs> 911, what's your emergency? Um, yes, I'm trying not to panic, but my sister's at the park and... I'm sorry, you need to stop crying, ma'am, so I can hear what you're saying. Okay, um, my sister jumped off the swing at the park in downtown Brookhaven, and she fell, and I think she hurt her leg, and she's not saying anything. Okay, ma'am, we'll be there as soon as possible. Thank you so much, bye! Sarah? Oh, I just figured she would run away. She wouldn't want to fess up to double dog. I mean, triple dog daring my sister. Oh my gosh, Molly. Wait, I saw her leg move. Molly? Molly? Say something, Molly, please. What, what happened? Ow, my leg hurts. Ah. <laughs> Molly, it's going to be okay. The ambulance is going to be here to take you to the hospital. What happened to me? What happened? Molly, you jumped off the swing and, 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 and you got hurt. Hello? So I'm totally here to take your sister to the hospital. Whoa, you look so much like this girl Sarah that I know. She looks grumpy too. Well, my job is really hard. I just have to pick up people all day and they're super heavy. Um, okay. Molly, we're just gonna get you on the stretcher now, okay? Oh, my leg hurts so bad. <laughs> It's gonna be okay as soon as you get to the hospital. They'll give you something for the pain. Okay, so like totally hold still. I don't need you to break your leg any worse than it already is. Don't worry, I can't even move. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Ugh. Okay, like everybody hold on because this might be a puppy ride. Molly, it's gonna be okay. I told you you shouldn't have taken that triple dog deal. Well, I didn't see where I had a choice. I mean, it was a triple dog dare. Molly, you always have a choice. Don't be ridiculous. Now look at the boat you've got yourself into. Daisy, can you not yell at me right now? I really don't feel good. Okay, Molly, sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? I think I've learned my lesson, okay? My leg is broken. <laughs> Uh, yeah, could I have a large latte, please, and a cheeseburger? I'm sorry, we're all out of lattes. Uh, I can still give you the cheeseburger, though. Fine, just give me a regular coffee and the cheeseburger. Seriously? My leg is broken and you've decided to stop at the drive-thru? Oh, I'm having the worst day ever. Molly, are you even listening? <laughs> Molly, wake up! Huh? What? Nurse! Nurse! There's a crazy lady in here yelling at me! That crazy lady is your sister! I have a sister? Where? Where is she? I'm your sister, Daisy! Oh, this is no use. Okay, I have one last memory to share with you. Then I'll have to let you go forever. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't mean to let that go. <laughs> I thought we were talking about letting things go. Ew, it smells horrible! Okay, fine, I'll stay here and tell you that, even though you fought it and it smells awful. Daisy? Is, is that you? Molly? Uh, are you okay? Daisy, I remember you! Oh, I'm so happy! I thought for a minute there, I thought maybe I would get rid of my annoying sister. You really want to get rid of me? <laughs> Just kidding! Oh my gosh, I remember everything! Sarah pushed me, and I fell and hit my head! Oh, she is a horrible bully! Yeah, she got in school suspension for that one. 
only guacamole she did. Yeah, you better rest, Marley. I don't want you to s strain yourself. Does that mean I don't have to do any homework? Yep, not until you feel better. Then I feel terrible for at least another week or so. Oh, Marley, same old sister I've always known.